the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is Pastor Taylor. You give them something to eat. Those were the words of Jesus to the apostles. Don't just pretend. You give them something to eat. And then Jesus even asks what they already had. And in this way, Jesus took the bread and the fish and multiplied them and gave them to the apostles to give to the people. Isn't it wonderful that Jesus, himself the bread of life, who came into the world to suffer and die on the cross to save us from sin and rose from the dead to bring us new life, who ascended in glory and who is coming back at the end of time to make a brand new creation, gives the order, you give them something to eat. That's right. If you're going to follow Jesus the Good Shepherd, understand that true shepherding is compassionate and contextual, bringing people the gifts from God so that the people of God may enjoy them. You give them something to eat. No excuses anymore. We are baptized in Jesus' death and resurrection. We eat his body and drink his blood. We hear his holy word. Our sin has been forgiven. And God gives us the chance to bring his gifts to the world. We do so in all our vocations, and we do so with boldness and courage. Hearing Jesus say to us, you give them something to eat. Stop waiting for the government. Stop waiting for handouts. Stop waiting for somebody else. You give them something to eat. Be about the work that I've given you to do, Jesus says. That is when the church shines. That's when the church, the body of Christ, makes known Jesus in profound ways to the world. The world is waiting. The world is hungry. The world is starving in a desolate place. Sisters and brothers in Jesus, you give them something to eat. Give them something worth it. Give them Jesus. For they already have all the rest. Give Jesus. As you do, believe and see the promise and know that God's word is certain. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.